Let me get to some of the news that's going on in the world. And this week we found out that MERS, the Middle East Respiratory uh, Disease, is back again, uh, this time in South Korea. And they have about 2,300 people that have been quarantined as a result of this. And they have had deaths as a result of MERS. MERS is obviously, it's a rare virus. It's difficult to get it, uh, but it's all through casual contact, respiratory cough and sneezing. What's difficult about MERS is the fact that, you know, it's hard to diagnose it. And it's very difficult because it's very, symptoms are very similar to flu symptoms. So a businessman from South Korea who have traveled to Middle East have brought this and has gone to four different hospitals. And as a result, this virus has been spreading. Uh, and now, as we speak, World Health News is really concerned because there's about 1,100 of MERS out there. And guess what? Two of them are actually in U.S. because of businessmen who have traveled over there. So be on an alert on this. If you have cough or sneeze or any flu symptoms and you have traveled to Middle East and certainly now in South Korea, tell the doctors because that's a very, very important information that your doctors need to know. The other big news was that, you know, the, this new um, statin-like medication, something called P PCSK9, it's a new inhibitor that lowers the bad cholesterol. And FDA approved this this week, which is a really big news. For years, statin have been a way to go to fix your cholesterol, and that certainly reduces your LDL and reduces heart disease. But this new medication that was just approved, it's another exciting one because it can reduce your LDL or bad cholesterol by 60 to 80 percent. That that's a game changer, and we look forward to seeing that. One big news that also came is the fact that our teens and children are not drinking enough. Why is that important? New study that just came out, about 50 percent of teenagers are not drinking enough water. Well, guess what? Water is, you know, our body is consistent of 80 percent of it is water, and water is not only important for your colon, for your uh, prevention of kidney stones, certainly as a urologist, during this time of the year, we see a lot of patients coming with kidney stones, and dehydration is the main risk factor. But also, in this particular study, it shows that the teens that are not drinking water, it affects their cognitive skills, their learning skills, brain activities. It affects your colon, constipation. It affects your skin, which is dry skin, etc. So drink up. And how much should you be drinking? The Institute of Medicine is talking about drinking about eight glasses of water minimum whether you get that from fruits and vegetables or whether you get that from like pure drinking water, and we all need to make it accessible in schools and parents have a big role to make sure that the kids and teenagers are drinking water. That's extremely important for your health and certainly for weight loss. And we also have our nutritionists coming in uh, talking about how to lose weight. So the program is full of important information. And as usual, I have my favorite music that I'm going to play for you. When we come back, we have my good friend, Dr. Misalek, who's here to talk about prostate cancer and anything else that's related to pathologists, second opinion, etc., and bring some sense to what's going on in the world of pathology. Here we go. This is my... 